All right, you guys, so here is what the steamer looks like. And this is a two-in-one steamer for your face and for your hair. I was also reading a section that you could use it for aromatherapy, which is really, really cool. So it's very simple to put together. I'm gonna go ahead and put this camera down, but I want to show you all the different sections here, the different parts. I literally just opened it up 10 minutes ago. This is a heat protectant covering here. And this is on off ozone on off in order to use the actual hair steamer you attach this on like here and then you would slide this on like so now i'm gonna be real real with you guys this right here is real flimsy like it just is and then you attach this in Now, do you see that? The weight is, the weight is very much so on this side of the actual equipment. So it's very, very, you gotta be really careful. Want to ensure that you're placing this on a sturdy table desk. I'm still trying to figure out where I'm gonna place this at so you guys can actually see me steaming my hair. This is where the water would go in. You undo this nozzle here and i'm actually going to go ahead and pour in some water let me take my time y'all i'm only going to steam my hair for 20 minutes this is a deep conditioner i will be using by whole blends is their avocado and shea butter now i did go ahead and add three tablespoons of my oil mixture to this and this is still trying to work up i think it takes a while to get her ready Just so you guys would know, this took a good three to five minutes for it to fully come to boil, about five minutes, honestly. Um, so yeah, and this is it steaming. Let me feel what it feels like underneath. And then on top, you can adjust this if you wanted to allow that steam to stay in. All right, you guys, I have, um, Cleanse my hair now. I'm applying the deep conditioner. I already applied it to this side, which is why it's long. Nate, it's longer. Excuse me. Look at the shrinkage. Now you see how short my hair really is. Those of you who don't know, I had to get a corrective cut from messing up my own hair, girl. Yeah. So you see how it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could stretch it, and yeah. So I just got up from underneath the steamer and oh yes, my hair feels so good. Now I'm not going to come back on with, uh, see, hmm, I don't know if it's because I have a big head or what, but I've heard other people complain about this the back did not get in. Like the lower back of my hair did not get in, but the top, the sides, absolutely my hair feels amazing. Um, that's really unfortunate. So overall, I don't, I don't like that. Cause that's the, that's the, um, 4C, my back, and I really wanted that to get in. So this is what it looks like up close. Hmm. Overall, out of five stars, I'll get it a almost three, like 2.75.
Yeah, I'm gonna have to boost that score up to a solid four just based on a wash and go I did after this. Look at the curls, look at the curls using Echo Style Gel. Yeah, a good solid four for this hair seamer, y'all. Only because I couldn't get all of this in. However, I think it's because I got a big hair and because I have a lot of hair. I would say normal density hair, you shouldn't have a problem getting it all up underneath. Um, but yeah, I couldn't, that's, that's a problem for me. I would still use it. Absolutely. I would be using this and it was a little flimsy. Like you couldn't lift it up. If I lift it up, the whole thing would come off. Try it out. It was very affordable. Don't know exactly because my husband paid for it. Um, I will be linking it down below in the description box. So link to the Amazon. And I will be using it consistently over the course of the next five or six months to see how my hair reacts to it. Okay. So that is it you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye. Bye.